Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan from Teasers Books and today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite book series of all time. This is my first booktube video and so I thought it would be a good idea to show you my top 10 series to begin with so you guys know what kind of books I like. So let's get started. Book number 10 on my list is Quarantine by Lex Thomas. This series is an amazing series about two boys who go into their high school and they get trapped because their entire school gets infected with the disease and all the children's hair turns white and eventually the government starts dropping in food every two weeks. The kids start to form together by social cliques so the jocks, the pretties, the sluts, the nerds, the geeks and then all the other people who don't have the factions are the loners. It's like an overplayed version of high school where it's everyone for themselves. It's a really good series to read and it's uh, really easy to connect to it, especially since I'm in high school. And I highly recommend it for anyone who hasn't heard of it or hasn't read it yet. The next series that I'm going to recommend is number nine on my list and it's the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi. I hope I said that right. It's a trilogy and it's Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. The books are about a girl named Juliet whose touch is lethal. And so she's put in an asylum and she's been in an asylum for about a year. And then they send a boy into a room with her. And it's just very interesting and the books are really funny and a really good series and I highly recommend it. The next series on my list I actually don't have a physical copy of because I read them so long ago. I read these more in grade 7 and 8. Is the Darkest Power series by Kelly Armstrong and it really introduced me into the young adult section because before I'd read a lot of middle grade books. These books actually got me back into reading because I kind of took a break and didn't read as much as I did when I was in sixth grade and seventh grade. It's about a girl named Chloe and she's at school one day and all of a sudden she starts to see dead people. Everyone thinks she's crazy and she gets sent to a psychiatric facility for young teenagers but she finds out that she isn't the only one with paranormal powers. It's a really good paranormal read. It's actually pretty creepy at some parts and I highly recommend it for people who just want a nice trilogy to get into. It's really easy to get into and you will have no trouble at all. If you like paranormal then you will love this series. At number seven on my list is The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. Now I know most people have read this book and if you haven't, well it's about a girl named Katniss and Katniss lives in District 12 which is the poorest district in Pan Am and Pan Am is made up of 12 districts and one capital and every year they hold a reaping and each district has to send one boy and one girl to fight in the Hunger Games. I actually love this book. It was my first dystopian read so it really does hold a place in my heart. The next series on my list at number six is the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Oh, where do I even start with this series? I read it after reading the Mortal Instruments series and it's so beautifully written. I've never read a book at this time period before. It's about a girl named Tessa and she gets dragged into the shadow world and the shadow world is run by Nephilim, which are half angel, half human. She meets two swoon-worthy guys, Will Herondale and Jem Carstairs. Personally, I ship Jessa more than Wessa, but that's just my personal opinion. This is the third book in the series. I actually don't own the other two. Really interesting to read at that point of time because the relationships are so different. Because even just holding hands with someone back then is just a huge deal compared to nowadays. I highly recommend this series and so beautifully written just read it. At number five on my list is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. I read this series in grade six and I read them all at the same time. My friend and I actually had a competition to see who could read the entire series first and we ended up finishing it on the same night. They were so funny, they were so great. I am in love with Greek mythology now because of this series. It's about a boy named Percy Jackson who's actually the son of Poseidon and he's a demigod and he gets sent to Camp Half-Blood. It's where they train demigods to fight evil. The characters are fantastic, it is really easy read. They're good for anyone of any age, young adult or middle grade. I am obsessed with Greek mythology because of this series. If you haven't read this, you really should. Next series on my list at number four is the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. This is probably one of the best ideas I've ever seen for a dystopian. After reading The Hunger Games, it was really hard to find a really good dystopian read, and this is it, guys. It's about a girl named Triss, and in this society, which is modern-day Chicago, the, s the city is divided into five factions and depending on who you are depends on which faction you belong to and when you're 16 you take a test to see if you stay with the faction you were born in or if you should leave and join another faction. I felt like I could really connect to Triss and it's also very interesting to see like which faction you would go into and what choices you would make in Triss's shoes and because it's such a good book. My third book is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. There are five books in the series Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and Opposition is actually tied with my second series because I just love it so much. I actually just read it this summer. It's hilarious, it's 
interesting. You never know what's going to happen. It's about a girl named Katie who moves next door to a pair of aliens. Because she's around aliens, she gets this kind of glow on her, so then Damon and Dee has to protect her to make sure no none of the Aurum, which are the bad aliens, find her. Otherwise, it will blow their secret where they're living. This book actually got me into sci-fi. It pretty much started the whole genre for me, and it's just a really good read. They're so funny. They are hilarious books, and Jennifer L. Armentrout really does know how to write romance. The next series on my list at number two is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I have read this series over and over again. I never get tired of it. It's so funny. It's so entertaining. It's about shadow hunters and it connects with the infernal devices. If you haven't read this series, I definitely recommend reading them in publication order. If you read the entire Mortal Instruments series, the infernal devices will be spoiled. This is about a girl named Clary Frey who goes to a club one night with her friend Simon Lewis. She ends up seeing a murder, but no one else can see it. She's brought into the shadow world, which is full of shadow hunters, demons, angels, all that stuff. And shadow hunters are half angel, half human. Her mom is then taken away and she doesn't know why, so she seeks the help of the shadow hunters to find her. It's definitely one of the best series I've read. I'm so obsessed with it. Unfortunately, the movie wasn't the best, but I'm really hoping they make City of Ashes to redeem themselves. I'll recommend this book to anyone. Everyone that I know that has read this book series has loved it. It is full of action, romance, it is hilarious. Cassandra Clare writes really funny dialogue and it's really fun to read about the different relationship that develops throughout the series. It'll be really interesting to see how they prosper through each series. And finally, my top book series of all time. This will always be my favorite book series ever and you've probably guessed it by now. It's Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I've basically grown up with this series. It is so close to me. I have watched the movies so many times I've lost count. I read this series, I started in grade three. I just cherish them so much. They're so good. I've worn the pages thin from reading, especially the first one. I've actually read the first one countless times. If you don't know what Harry Potter is, where have you been? If you haven't read Harry Potter and you love to read, I highly recommend this series. If you haven't read it, I don't know what to say. The writing is beautiful. I don't know how people didn't grow up with Harry Potter. I just assumed everyone has read it and now I actually have to ask? I don't get it. Everyone should just read this book. It's so amazing. It's They're so beautiful. It's obviously filled with magic. It's filled with love. It's filled with friendship. They're just really, really good books. So those were my top 10 book series of all time. So obviously they're going to change as I read more books, but this is my most updated version. If you want to see more booktube videos, make sure you rate, comment, and click subscribe. You can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put the links in the doobly-doo. I hope you'll come back and watch some more videos. I hope to post some more soon. Thanks for watching and keep on reading.